Hello everyone and welcome to Miko's Corner. Today we will be continuing Dark Cloud. In the previous episode, we arrived in Queens and found out that a storekeeper named Rando was still alive in this area, probably because he wasn't in the main area where the village was destroyed, much like the mayor in uh, Naroon Village and our friend Edward wasn't part of the main village either in Matataki Village. We also went into the haunted shipwreck through that submarine and we tackled a couple of levels, one of which was surprisingly short. Before I continue, however, I think I need to do a little bit of shopping. Yeah, we're low on repair powders, and I should probably buy another stand-in powder. But, because we were using the bandit slingshot, we can sell a few things. I also get nervous when I get a bunch of one item in a dungeon like the holy waters and the soaps, it makes me think I'm going to need to defend against those from spells. Yeah, curses. <clears throat> Alright, going to hang on to the fishes. I'm not... I'm not low on space yet. So we'll hang on to them. I do need to do a grinding level, gr grinding episode rather, and level some of these up. Maybe I'll do that after this one, that way I don't have to, I can give my voice a break. If you hear me uh, clearing my throat, wow, I'm just skipping all over the wor words today. If you hear me clearing my throat or messing up my words, it's because I had a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> my uh, my dad made some chocolate chip cookies, but he had to use AP flour all purpose uh, because the other flour that he was going to use had bugs in them before he could use it, so he had to toss that out, and uh, they came out still very good. I missed one? What do you mean I missed one? That would explain why we didn't have as much Georama. There were only four in this level. Huh. Okay, well, we'll go get that uh, piece of Georama and we'll actually fight through this level to build up some of our weapons. Um, but yeah, the cookies came out pretty well. They just ended up um, rising a little bit more, like cake do does. So. Oh, I don't want to fight either of you. Where's that clam? I hear a clam. Hi, clam. Ow. Oh. Okay, Cursed Roses, however, we are going to tackle with our friend, Neko. After healing her weapon, which I probably should have done in the overworld. Thank you. 
But yeah, if you're fighting a rose near a post, you can always use the post as a way to avoid those uh, ranged attacks that they use. Flapping fish. Okay, maybe... So, the flapping fish is your item to get to the back room in the shipwreck. So maybe we'll do that, and then we'll hit the next level. Do we have another rose around here? Yeah, remember how I was talking about not being healed when you go to the overworld with your uh, hunger and thirst? Same thing is true of your weapon. Which can be annoying and mainly in the, in the sense that you forget about it. This weapon needs some help. Oh god! Uh, camera angles! <sighs> hey, Killed them both in one. It's exciting stuff. One thing I do like about her ranged attacks is that because the battle music is the same no matter what dungeon you're in, you can just listen to the dungeon's default music, this lovely piano piece right now. Because when you run too close, the battle music kicks in and you're like, oh man. Or at least I am. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but... Honestly, I think I had the same thought when I was playing Breath of the Wild, the Zelda Switch game. I was like, man, I just want to listen to the overworld music, but the battle music kicks in whenever I go and fight someone. Curse amulet. But then again, Neko's noises when she attacks can be repetitive and annoying. <laughs> so that's the only thing you have to get used to. It's the it's the takeaway from the battle music kicking in versus listening to the default music. Can you handle the noises that she makes when she fights?
Let's see, who do we have over here? We have a Corsia. And probably a clam or a rose because they're not visible yet or coming toward me yet. Yeah, those guys give a lot of abs. I don't know if you've been checking out my... That line that levels up with each abs. Which e uh, Sorry, which... With each enemy I defeat. Wow, I'm having trouble talking today. I was right. We got a clam. Who's stuck. And a rose. I'm gonna draw him over this way. To hopefully avoid the rose... Hitting me willy nilly. Yep. Oh, shouldn't have attacked it. Hurts the weapon more than usual. Attack, endurance, speed, ice, mimic. I think we threw a turquoise in there? Yep. And we got some endurance going. Sweet. Upgrade. We're good on ice. Still need mimic. Damn. How much mimic do you need? Okay, so my inclination would either go to be go for another element, since I don't have attack, endurance, speed, or magic yet, or go for something I don't have here. I'm not ever going to fight flying enemies with him. Um, yeah, let's give him some plant. And I'll give him lightning. Because I don't think we have... Of course we have stuff and other items. Someone needs a dino, I know that much. I think it's one of Neko's. Didn't put anything there. She needs a dino. Mage and Sea. I'll have to double check which one of these levels up to the item I want it to level up to. Because there's a different track you can take either way. And I'm trying to figure out the best way for some of the doubles to build up to get the most variety. doesn't need any elements. That's a little surprising. Okay, I was looking for Mimic. Okay. Let's work with her. I believe I missed a piece of Atla in the last episode. That is surprising. And annoying if we're being honest. Alright, we're gonna level up her weapon now. Yeah, the range on those roses is pretty insane. I'm going to 
gonna hit that in just a second. Alright, so I just wanna show you... So, <laughs> this was that fish that we picked up at the beginning of the level, which has already rotted out. In its description it says best tra best carried on ice or something like that. So I can either toss this guy or I can sell him. I don't think he's going to sell for much, maybe a penny or two. So I won't be going to the back room in this level. Which means that this is pointless and I don't want to hit it with her. Decrease the weapon. Weapon hit points, that's fine. That's alright. We'll go to the next level. Getting thirsty. Reminder to hydrate if you're watching this video. I will in just a second. Of course, my hydration isn't exactly water because I am a horrible human being. I, uh, I don't like coffee, I don't like alcohol, I don't do drugs, haven't tried them, and I refuse to smoke, but my vice is soda. Not that I don't ever drink water, I just drink um, raspberry ice water, some of those flavor packets that are non-sugared. Because I don't, I mean, water's not supposed to have a flavor, but it doesn't make me want to drink it. Unless it is ice cold and it's a hot day. I will drink uh, plain ice water, as long as it's like really nice and cold. Otherwise, I will flavor it. I did, as an adult, learn why I don't like alcohol or coffee, and that is because I can taste the tannins that are in those items, making it not taste as good as it does to other people. And that's fine with me. Sometimes I'll get like a half and half with coffee and hot chocolate at Dunkin' Donuts or somewhere else, make my own. But otherwise, I, I don't drink coffee. <sighs> okay. I do like hot chocolate now and then, and... If my throat is hurting, I'll drink Yogi Throat Comfort Tea. But, uh, th throat coat tea is disgusting. <laughs> and, you know, it probably is supposed to be because it coats your throat, which is good if you're singing. Right before a show or what have you. But it is not good. <laughs> I was glad to find throat comfort when I did. I think we have a stone, and I think we have a dinosaur. Need more sea and more mage. Okay. Uh, I'm inclined to give her another sea item, because we are in this area. I don't know if there are mages down here. <laughs> so, the question is... What do we work on now? Ooh, let's, do, let's give him some plant. I never did level up the mallet so I could synth, synth break it into another into another item, 
Another weapon, rather. Well, he's doing better with his regular mount than he was the fish, so that's a good sign. I have a question. Why does the cherry have to be throbbing? Joker's house. And no, it is not DC's Joker. That guy can die. Stu. Pretty sure that's a person's name. I do love his run cycle, it's, it's the funniest. Do I not have this key yet? Ah, oh, shoot, I should have hit that. I should have hit that door up here earlier. Whoops. Hey, can you come here? Ooh, he's pretty fast with this mallet, too. Wow, good job, dude. Um, yeah, I guess he's fairly fast. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could build up the mallet, or synth break it, rather, into... Either the tuna or the battle axe. Because I think the tuna goes into one weapon before it goes into. <laughs> goes into a different new weapon. And then it goes into something that the battle axe builds up into, too. Whoops. I keep forgetting to back up when I hit them. As much as I love bread and pasta, it's a shame that there's no protein in it, so it just kind of makes you more hungry sometimes. Call it carbo loading for a reason. There's the hook. Nice little close up of Edward there, too. Okay, come here. Oops. Oh. He gets the tail end of the attack. There we go. Mallet's abs are full. We have a couple of plants in there. Yeah, that's fine. Upgrade. We'll also repair it here in a second, too. What to customize it with? Fire, thunder, wind. We can add a wind. And... I'll give it the other plant, because I know the dino and the stone are needed for the other weapons. So I don't want to steal them. Oops. 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 
please go back to Link. We need to collect the Atla. Another lamp. Jack store. Garcia, come here. This would be fun in the hallway. Ready for this shit? Here we go. Oops. Trying to do the special attack. Okay. Anti freeze amulet. Oh, my goodness. I haven't been frozen yet. I don't know if there is an enemy I've come across yet that does freeze you. Alright, I'm gonna run back up to the fountain real quick. I really don't know what else to call them. It's weird to call it a pond. I could just call it the water. Does that make sense? In terms of what I'm referring to. thing I like I don't like about the exit spawning where it does sometimes you know right there at the beginning of the level like now I gotta run all the way back and forth and which is why Dran's feather is super useful I hate that it removes your target lock once you've been hit successful level. Kind of mad I didn't get to go to the back room. I suppose if you don't have ice, but you have a fish, the key would be to go to the back room area first and give the fish to whatever needs the fish. And then continue on with the level. Can I hit you without it destroying my weapon? Damn it! You blocked! Asshole. But otherwise, yeah, buying some ice with the fish is your go-to. If you wanted to survive the, the level of the dungeon you're on. Chimney. Sweet. Okay. Dran's feather. That's okay. I'll buy one for the next time I'm in the dungeon. It's usually a good idea to go to the store every time you leave the dungeon anyways. Stock right back up. I made that mistake a few times as a kid, not stocking up and running out of things to help, help me out in a dungeon. Be it stand-in, revival powder, repair powder, 
or bread. Sometimes you find them in the dungeons, but it's not a guarantee. It's far more difficult. Well, let's go do that real quick. Look at all that soap. Oops. I also don't need that many escape powders. No thank you. Well, I'm pretty good with those. Let's see, I want another stand-in powder, and I want a bunch of repair powders. Feather. I want two, honestly. I like having a couple of Drance feathers on hand. We're good on water. Could use a little bit of cheese. All the repair powder you could ever want. It's okay, there's a point where you. Wow. There is a point where you will stack up enough coinage from either selling things off. Usually I'd be selling my weapons, honestly, but you guys want to see a couple of different types of weapons, so I'm keeping them and going to try to build them up. But you will have enough weapons. Uh, sorry, you will have enough gold where you can... <laughs> Where you can buy those gold bullions, so you just have them hanging out in storage. So if you do run out of money, you can just go to storage, pick them up, and use them in store. Alright, let's do a little bit of configuration real quick. And in the next level, next episode, we will talk to some of these people. So Stu, with the glasses, is the king's follower. He's quick-witted. We have Jack, knife-wielding weapon shopkeeper. Rudy is a fish storekeeper. Peppy and Bouncy. Cute. So, Jack goes here. He requires a sign, a room that we don't have, and a lamp. King's house. Brains behind the king, tried to solve things by force, a rich man with two followers. Yeah, there we go. Tree and road. Okay, well, we can drop the king off. And we can drop off. Wait, oh, we do have Rudy's store. Okay. There you go. And we have your push cart. Has to be fresh. Okay. be like that I think okay I'm just putting them down so we can talk to them next level next next level oh my gosh why do I keep saying level next game all right well well there's that it didn't do that last time I was in first person mode interesting Okay. Oh wait, I should... Let's do this instead. Okay, well, in the next episode, we are going to talk to these individuals and see if we can find out what else they need for their living conditions. And we will continue along in the shipwreck levels of the dungeon. I think in the meantime, I may do a grinding episode of both fishing and working on weapons, but I won't do commentary over that. I'll probably probably speed it up by 200 times again, and I'll throw it in at a 4 o'clock time slot so it doesn't take up plot-relevant time slots of recordings I do with my commentary over them. 
So make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications every time I upload a new video. See you next time.